Hey there, flip the switch. I watched the platform blood multiplayer devlog you made. That you were showing off in a game what game gan Discord server. I shared your content with my team at Jamango. They seemed very impressed. We're currently seeking a limited amount of aspiring creators to join Jamango as part of the alpha community, the, the first, first settlers. We wanted to reach out after seeing your awesome work and see if it'd be something you're interested in exploring. I'm down dog. Right, so back in June, Matt from Jamango sent me a Discord DM and uh, I only just saw it now, so. So anyway, I said, yeah, I'm down. Sorry for the two month late reply, when can I start? And uh, now I'm kind of beta testing Jamango. Fuck. How did I get here, you might ask? I don't know. I'm not a big channel. Although I'm very grateful that we hit 30 subscribers, boys. Let's go. Thank you so much for that. I was actually so gassed when I saw that. Like, that's amazing. I created my first world and I was left with a yo. yo. This seems a little familiar if I say so myself, but uh, this is Jamango. I haven't really explained what Jamango is. So, Jamango is a sandbox game. I'd class it as a game engine, but class it as you will. And this sandbox game encourages players to make their own creations and have as much fun as the people playing them. And honestly, I'm excited to see this out the alpha because this has got loads of potential. So, on character fit, enter. I kinda like this already, actually. So, let's see it. Oh, damn. <coughs> Shit, it just collapsed. What was that Roblox type avatar? That was kind of dope. So yeah, that's like the idea of Jamango. I upload some of my gameplay of me trying to figure out how to use Jamango on FTS Tom Fuller, so go check that out if you want to see me playing Jamango. But anyway, I think it's time to build a game. Now I feel like he's slightly gonna say no. Like maybe, maybe he might say no? Yes! So Okay, so if we go to E, I figured out this is where you can get extra blocks, so you don't just have the the ones here. Let's make a new character. We'll call him. We'll call him Mr. Sigma. Is that a jetpack? Oh my God! Let's create Mr. Sigma. Let's go. Okay, I think I think if I place him here. Yes. It's Mr. Sigma! Fuck yeah! So now that we know how to use Jamango, it's time to officially make a game. This is just a reminder to you guys, there is actually a tutorial on Jamango. I just only found about it right now. So, damn. Make sure you check out the tutorial and then you'll actually be good at Jamango. Yo, what's up? We got the game. So this is the game. I'm gonna show you guys how it works. So press Q, go into this. Basically, I've made a bunch of block groups where if you touch the block, you die. So it's lava. So, you know, just like that, you know, not too bad, not too bad. Although, I only just realized this a couple of days ago. See, see how I made so many block groups for all this, this stuff, yeah? You can use one group. Which is... <laughs> damn, I did not know that. Maybe if I paid attention to the tutorial, maybe, but, you know, oh well. Anyway, I'm gonna just show you guys this one. So this, this turns on the UI. On character fit enter, health bar, turn on. See, this is all simple, you know? And this, I've made this a wee bounce pad. So in the tutorial, there's a wee bounce pad thing right here, yeah? This one just makes the character jump, just like this. And once you jump over here, I made a button. And I'll show you what the button does in a minute. I'll show you it in action, but I mean, it moves the platforms so you can actually use them. It's awesome. Same with this one. Then it's just a touch of this, this, and then... That's the end of it so far. Honestly, now that I've kind of shown you guys how it works, let's give it a test. There we go, the spawn point is right here. So, you know... Boom, 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 boom. There we go. And then... Actually, fuck that button, we don't need that, but this one, press F, moves the platforms over here. Pretty cool, am I right? Then we just jump on it like this, see I made the corner slide so you can get on it. Then, boom, what the fuck, boom, buckled, and that's it. A very simple game, 
but you see how simple it was to make it all those steps I just showed you that's how you made that's how I made this game and I've not spent much time working on it but I wanted to get this as my first set of this project so I can you know explore the game more in the future because I sort of want to get this other project done as well anyway though let's go into my review about Dramango because yeah why not Now the main question that you guys have probably been asking Is Jamango worth it? Yes. From how I see Jamango, the quality of this platform and simplicity is just damn. Now I'm not really a fan of sandboxes with no coding, but this is just different in a way, you know what I mean? Call me Jamango Glazer, but with the potential Jamango has right now, it could be a competitor to other platforms like Roblox in a way. Anyway, my unfiltered opinion is that it's great. Thank you Jamango for giving me this opportunity to test the game. I'm sure it'll do great. But yeah, Bloods, that's it from me for now. Now I'd say it's time to go back to the past. So instead of making it a story mode game, we're going to make it basic levels. And I was like, basic levels. What? This is easier on my end because the story wait, 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 wait. He's kind of got a point. 